All right, so this is the Uno lithium ion battery, not lithium ion phosphate. It was sent to me a couple years ago and I did a video review. However, last year, as of 2023, company went out of business or they shut down or whatever. The parent company, which is Titan Batteries, they're still there. However, um, you can't talk with anybody and I've called multiple times trying to talk with somebody, but I just keep getting a voicemail. So we're going to see today if we can open this thing up. This was a 90 amp hour, 48 volt battery, 100 amp constant. You see everything on the screen there. Had a barcode up here. I think this is battery number 122 maybe. So anyways, there's no signs of entry at all on this battery. On the sides, the back, sides, the top, or the bottom. However, on the top here, there's a faint line. See that line right there? Goes up, goes across, comes back down. And we know that the charging cable here, that goes inside, the output goes inside. The LED light there, the LED light is off. I do have voltage here on the charging cable, or not charging cable, the output cable but nothing on the charging cable. So let's see today if we can get into this right here without catching this on fire or burning anything down. All right, got a blade. Well, I got a fresh blade here. Let's see if we can score this up here at the very top. You can actually feel the blade go down. So I believe that is a, that's, you know, part of the battery where they put it back together. Just not sure how it's attached. Not sure if we can get us a, a Phillips head, I mean a flathead screwdriver in there or not. I'm gonna just keep scoring it. And it's getting deeper and deeper in there. I'm gonna put a face mask on just in case anything happens. Okay. Take you off the tripod here. Kind of see exactly what we have. All the batteries are wrapped in like foam that looks like a cooler foam here. Um, still ain't got to a BMS just yet, so I know we're gonna keep digging here. Um, but you can definitely smell it, it is burnt. And not sure, I don't even know what kind of cells these are. I'd like to maybe see what kind of cells they are as well. Might be to use the cells for something down the road. And if that's all it is, we might be able to build a bunch of the like DeWalt battery packs with these cells. So I'm down for that as well. I'm low key nervous, not wanting to arc anything out while I'm in here or shorten anything with these batteries. They are lithium ion batteries. I do know the dangers of them and I really don't have the proper tools to be in here digging around. Here I am digging around with flatheads. I think the BMS is gonna be on the front 
side here, okay? Um, if I could find a way to get these batteries to actually slide out of the unit, I might like to do that as well. I thought about going ahead and disconnecting this right here, main lug here. I'm not sure if this one is going between um, this and this, or is this just, you know, been going from the output to the BMS. Might be what it's doing here. I'm not exactly sure. Y'all don't mind the backyard holes. Let's right here from that. But brought it out here on this old junk arc V I got, which runs, but it's old junker. Uh, started taking the rubber mallet to the sides of the case. This right here side broke open, so it's, uh, it's made like that, I reckon. See there? I'm gonna keep whacking on that a little bit. See if we can get this other sides pulled apart as well. I'd like to be able to get to the battery and disconnect it somehow or another. When I say disconnect it, uh, take them out of series. So we're not dealing with as much voltage as that. All right, well, you can see the BMS is toast. It really smells bad. Now, this side of the case, which is just a plastic case, this side of the case burnt, which is the front side. Got the opposite side off. This thing smells horrible as well. I wish there was a, if I had like a little pry tool, it was just made out of plastic. I could pry the BMS off. Might be to pry it off with these right here. I'm not exactly sure just yet, but the batteries still have power and energy. So I'm just trying to take my time with it not be stupid or make any stupid decisions with it. Since I've opened it, he has been staying away. So he smells something in it that doesn't smell right. He doesn't like fire to begin with. So the dog was telling me that something's wrong there. BMS is off. You can be able to see what kind of BMS is in there. So I think it's safe to say that one of the main reasons that these right here, um, I wouldn't say packs fail, but probably the main reason that the company went out of business is these batteries are really non-serviceable. You know, uh, like this right here, I can't get all of this right here off. And um, I think if it, was, if it was a serviceable unit, they might still be in business, but when you add in all of this goop and stuff right here and you send the battery back to them, they were probably either disposing of the batteries or they might have been uh, salvaging all of these right here cells. Uh, I don't know how many cells this is. That's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That looks like 28. 28 in pair maybe, is that right? And then 28 in pair, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a good look at this battery. SW18650-30SP, 21J29A439880. So I thought I was gonna be able to semi harvest these batteries. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the cells themselves, except, the shell casings or the outside is um, starting to come off. Maybe we could get some new heat shrink to put on those, but yeah, that's kind of where we at. But what do you think? The battery is apart. I'm saying this right here company probably went under because this is a non-serviceable BMS or a battery itself because once you put all of that spray foam in there, it's like a cooler inside. I don't know. That might have been the whole problem to begin with. I was going to see what kind of BMS this right here was, but I couldn't really figure anything out. You know, there's probably nothing on here that's worth keeping. And um, he just wants to get in the shot, but there it is. We found the batteries online. I think those are it. They were like three bucks a piece. There's a little less than 400 in here. So safe to say $1,200 in batteries. 
100 bucks or 200 bucks in a BMS. I mean, the company was making well over, you know, 100% on the product. I mean, that's what, I was understand that's why companies, you know, that's how they stay in business is to make big profit. But this is probably why they didn't stay in business because it's they made a product that you can't service. What do you think, Berkeley? It's all right. Anyways, that's it. We may or may not see these batteries again. If I could keep them and harvest these things and use them in like DeWalt drills and other things, I would, because that's a bunch of batteries. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching today's video. Until next time, see y'all later. You got anything to say? Hmm? Where's that squirrel? Look at that squirrel. Where's that squirrel? See him? Get that squirrel. Get him. Get that squirrel. Get him.